Moving on now, Wednesdays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm women's group Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. So joining us now is Common Ground volunteer Carol Swan. Thanks for being here today, Carol. Hey, Carol. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Happy to be here. Now nice. you seem chipper, ready to go. Yeah, yeah I am. I am. <laughs> How's everything in Columbus? It's good. We mm -hmm. didn't have any particular storms. We had lots of nice rain, uh, some wind, so things kind of got blowed around a little bit in the wind, but mm -hmm. you're nothing like other places. Nothing yeah. like what we just saw there. No. I know, thankful and thankful yes. that these folks are recovering. Yes. Yes. So we wanna talk about food safety today and what people need to know about food because yeah. we are approaching picnic season. Oh yeah. yeah, picnics, parties, graduations, weddings, family gatherings. So you wanna keep things safe and healthy for everybody because our producers, the food processors, even the transportation system and your retailers, they all have protocols. Uh, for quality assurance, for federal and state inspection, just to keep things safe so they can make sure the consumer can buy safe, wholesome food to have at their home. So it's up to the consumer after they get it home to keep it safe. And there's uh, the USDA websites, FDA and the FSIS, Food Safety Inspection Service. You can go on, you know, kind of Google those and some of those websites pop up as long as it's got the .gov part after it. And there's lots and lots of really good guidelines on how to keep your food safe in your home. And the first one is pretty basic. Keep it clean, keep it separate. If it needs to be hot, keep, cook it right. If it needs to be cold, keep it chilled. And so one of the things is keep your hands clean. And there was a fun fact, on, and I don't know if it's a fun fact from mm -hmm. those people or just showed up on the internet. 99% of the people don't wash their hands properly you know, the 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, the 20 seconds, right. Scrub. And then 33% of these people, they use their electronic devices while they're cooking. Uh -huh. And then they don't wash their hands after using it, and then they don't wash their electronic device. So I thought that was, oh my, kind of maybe a reminder to kind of pay attention in that little aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you do touch your phone a lot, even if you're looking at a recipe yeah. on your phone. Yeah. Maybe you need to like wipe it down with yeah. a sanitary wipe or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, something, because you kind of forget where do germs come from. I mean, they come from all over, but we kind of forget that. It's kind of like setting your purse on the counter, you know. Yeah, Sometimes. right. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. the other thing is, too, how long can you leave your food out? Yeah, well, there's like a two hour rule if you're at a potluck or something. You know, if it's kind of, you know, you, there's a lot of uh, crock pots and insulated things that keep them warm, but after two, and same way to mm -hmm. keep them cold. After two hours, you need to think about packing things up and getting them, like your hot things, getting them chilled right away, and you want to get them chilled rapidly down to, you know, get them into a 40 degree refrigerator or less to get them chilled down rapidly. None of this sitting on the counter to cool off, just get them right in there. And to keep your cold things cold, uh, there's lots of guidelines on that too. And if you have purchased food and you kind of, oh, I forgot about it in the refrigerator, you know, your poultry is one to two days, either use it, cook it, or throw it in the freezer or cook it and throw it in the freezer. Your beef and red meat, uh, pulp, uh, pork products, is like three to five days. Mm -hmm. And you better be using it, freezing it, doing something with it. And the yeah. eggs, everybody kind of, oh, what do we do with eggs? Keep them in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. but they last, you know, they'll last five to six weeks in the refrigerator after you're pushing them at the store. Mm -hmm. So Good you always wonder to about know. that too. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Carol, you're sticking around. You have a recipe, right? Yes, I do. Rhubarb muffins, because oh. my rhubarb went nuts after the rain. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that a lot of people <laughs> yeah. have said that. People love rhubarb though, so we're looking yeah. forward to that. Thank yes. you, Carol. All right.